you may have heard the name of Tanzen the greatest musician our country has produced a singer called Mukunda Mishra and his wife lived in Bihar near Gwalior Tanzen was their only child it is said that he was a naughty child often he ran away to play in the forest and soon learned to imitate perfectly the calls of birds and animals a famous singer named swami haridas was once traveling through the forest with his disciples tired the group settled down to rest in a shady grove tansen saw them strangers in the forest he said to himself it will be fun to frighten them he hid behind a tree and roared like a tiger the little group of travelers scattered in fear but swami haridas called them together don't be afraid he said tigers are not always dangerous let us look for this one suddenly one of his men saw a small boy hiding behind a tree there are no tigers here master he said only this naughty boy swami haridas did not punish him he went to tansen's father and said your son is very naughty he is also very talented i think i can make him a good singer tansen was 10 years old when he went away with swami haridas he lived with him for 11 years learning music and become a great singer at about this time his parents died mukunda mishra dying wish was that tansen should visit mohammad gos of gwalior mohammad gos was a holy man mukunda mishra had long been devoted to him and often visited him while living in gwalior with mohammad gos tansen was often taken to the court of rani mrigneni who was a great musician herself there he met and married one of the ladies of the court her name was husaini husaini also became swami haridas's disciple tansen and husaini had five children who were all very musical tansen had by this time become very famous sometimes he sang before emperor akbar who was so impressed by him that he insisted tansen should join his court tansen went to akbar court in 1556 and soon became a great favorite of the emperor akbar would call upon tansen to sing at any time during the day or night quit often he would just walk into tansen's house to hear him practice he also gave him many presents 
some of the courtiers became jealous of Tansen. We shall never be able to rest till Tansen is ruined. They declared. One of the courtiers, Shokat Mia, had a bright idea. Let us make him sing Raga Deepak, he said. How will that help us? asked another man. If Raga Deepak is properly sung, it makes the air so hot that the singer is burned to ashes. Tansen is a very good singer. If he sings Raga Deepak, he will die and we will be rid of him. Shokat Mia went to Akbar and said, We don't think Tansen is a great singer. Let us test him. Tell him to sing Raga Deepak. Only the greatest singers can sing it properly. Of course, he can sing it. Tansen can sing anything, Akbar said. Tansen was afraid but could not disobey. The king, very well, my lord, he said. But give me time to prepare myself. Tansen went home. He had never been more downcast and unhappy. I can sing the raga, he told his wife, but the heat it gives off will not only set the lamps alight, it will also burn me to ashes. Then he had an idea. If someone sings Raga Meg at the same time and sings it properly, it will bring rain. Perhaps our daughter Saraswati and her friend Rupavati could do it, he said. He taught the two girls to sing Raga Megha. They practiced night and day for two weeks. Tansen told them, You must wait till the lamps start burning and then you start singing. The legend goes that on the appointed day the whole town assembled to hear Tansen sing Raga Deepak. When he began to sing, the air became warm. Soon people in the audience were bathed in perspiration. The leaves on the trees dried up and fell to the ground. As the music continued, birds fell dead because of the heat and the water in the rivers began to boil. People cried out in terror as flames shot up out of nowhere and lighted the lamps. At once Saraswati and Rupavati began to sing Rag Megh. The sky clouded over and the rain came down. Tanzan was saved. The story goes that he was very ill after this and Akbar was sorry that he had caused him so much suffering. He punished Tansen's enemies. When Tansen got well, the entire city rejoiced. Tansen remained Akbar's court singer till 1585 when he died. He composed several new ragas. Tansen's tomb 
is in Gwalior. It is a place of pilgrimage for musicians. Thank you.